From your most watched, most trusted weather source, today is a first alert weather day. All right, good morning, folks. Uh, potential tropical cyclone number 16. 5 a.m. update on the storm. Winds are at 50 sustained. 30.5 north, 75.0 west. Uh, your latest coordinates and moving north at about 14 miles an hour. Uh, pressure holding around 1,000 millibars. The winds are up a little bit. Here's the latest track from the Hurricane Center. All right, so here we are later this afternoon. Winds near 60, holding near 60 Saturday morning, 2 a.m. So as we're approaching sunrise tomorrow morning, the storm is nearing the coast. Looks like a little after sunrise, a landfall potentially somewhere between maybe I would say Pender County and Hatteras and give a wide berth there. You can see that cone, that margin of error somewhere in that area uh, along or maybe uh, 100 miles either side of Highway 17 the way it looks now. So 60 near landfall on the winds, 50 to 40 as it moves further to the north into Virginia. And you can see by Saturday night into Sunday, this thing's headed well north of us. So Sunday is going to be good. Just got to get there. Uh, outside right now, uh, Washington 65 on a thermometer. There's the radar. You can see that rain already out on the coast right now. There's a closer look at that. Sprinkle or two from Grimesland to Washington. The heavier rain on the coast. The real heavy stuff still several hours away. Afternoon into the overnight. Light rain morning hours uh, with increasing winds. Tropical storm warnings are up for just about everybody, excluding Wayne, Wilson, Edgecombe, uh, Halifax, and Northampton counties. All other counties in a tropical storm warning. Uh, the winds gusting into the 40s, uh, near 60 on the coast. Flood watch, three, four, five inches of rain looks like a good bet. Storm surge warning, uh, the deeper pink shading here. Pamlico River Basin, Noose River Basin. Right now, Weather Service forecasting a three to five foot water level rise. I like those numbers given uh, the direction of the wind easterly to eventually more nor'easterly, but a pretty good stretch of easterly winds. Should get a decent water level rise coming back up the rivers. Plan on four feet, maybe a little higher uh, peak. And the uh, high tides, by the way, around 2 a.m., 2 p.m. That should say 2 a.m., uh, not 12 a.m. Three to five, back up the river basins we mentioned there. And as you get out on the coast, generally looking at a two to four, same thing as you get into the Albemarle Sound as we go through uh, the next 36 hours or so. All right, here's that impact graphic again. Uh, rainfall one to three inland, two, maybe three inches, and then more like a four to five, you get along the coast. Isolated flooding possible. Maximum winds, 40 inland, give or take. All right, coast approaching 60 on some of those gusts, it looks like right now. And that chance for a few tornadoes to the east side of the forward motion of the storm. That means the sounds to the coast generally, the way it looks right now, isolated tornado risk. Mentioned the storm surge. There will be a few power outages, I think, as those winds pick up late today, tonight, and tomorrow morning. All righty, eight-day forecast. Uh, again, today and tomorrow, uh, the tropical system impacting us with the rain and the winds. Uh, and again, it could become uh, a named storm, maybe Ophelia, as we go through the next 24 hours. Either way, the impacts aren't going to change much. Sunday, we're out of it. Looks good. Monday, Tuesday stays quiet. Another rain chance Wednesday, Thursday.